Good morning, everybody. Illinois Outdoorsman here, and obviously I know it's been a long while since I've done a video. I've just gotten busy with life and a new job, new toys, everything else, which I'm assuming you guys have seen on my Instagram. I got a Harley, and I've been trying to enjoy that for the last month and a half that I've been able to before it got real cold. Done some stuff to it and made it mine, so. But now we are back to being outside being in the outdoors which i'm going to try and bring the harley into it as well and do some stuff off of it it's great on fuel mileage but it costs you seven dollars to fill it um but today today we're gonna go do a little bit of squirrel hunting maybe some rabbit hunting in there as well because rabbit and pheasant season opens up here today in illinois so we're getting to that point here now it's we're november i think third now second third i don't know I don't know but we're getting to that point in this hunting season in Illinois where you could walk through the woods and pretty much shoot anything you come across so today we are going to hopefully get some squirrels and then we'll hopefully do a catch cook clean kind of video to show you guys how I prepare a squirrel and one of the million ways you guys can cook them up too and they taste phenomenal so let's go guys Hey guys, so let me back up from the camera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the gun, go over some of the stuff I've got, what I carry with me. A pair of cheap, just jersey gloves are actually really warm, so make sure I got my keys. Put them out, I got them. Don't want to lock your keys in your vehicle, so <laughs> make sure I got my keys and yeah, we'll get my stuff out and go. I do have a buddy said he's gonna come out. He just kind of texted me on the way here, so. We'll kind of meander through and we'll let him come find us, but we'll move you guys a little closer. All right, so first off, just a backpack. This is a Buck Commander camo backpack. I use it for a fishing bag for the longest time. Um, two pockets, carries all my stuff in it. And I don't care about throwing a squirrel in the bottom of it and a little bit of blood, it'll be all right. Next up. Hunter Orange Vest, Illinois, you have to have 400 square inches of orange. So I keep it all kind of together in a bag. Now that I don't really use a backpack anymore for fishing, I just kind of keep all my hunting stuff in that bag. And yes, I know this vest looks small. It's a cheapie, but it does the job. It makes the qualification for 400 square inches. So, get that. I also, I do keep, I know this is way overkill, but I do keep a box of shotgun ammo in here. This is a Winchester Universal Game and Target, it's small game stuff. This is what I use. I get it at Walmart, it's like $12 for five boxes of it, or 100 rounds. And the other thing I keep, this is specifically for squirrel hunting. This is actually a duck hunting bandolier I guess and it's got a waterproof pocket in it which I'm just gonna keep little stuff in there but that's where I keep my squirrel call so I know where it's at and I don't lose it otherwise my kid is running around playing with it so that goes on I've got rounds and if I empty this then it's so far either been a really good day or I am a horrible shot that day hopefully a really good day Nice pretty little bow here. And that'll be it that goes in my bag. So. Coming in here, there's, I only saw two trucks, guys out here deer hunting, so I'm not too worried about. The closest guy is a mile down the road, so I'm not too terribly worried about walking up on him unless he's walked away up here, which I don't think he has. So. And then, obviously, the last and final piece is the shotgun. Which, Illinois, to hunt with a shotgun, you have to have a plug in it or, or it not be capable of holding more than three rounds. So, 
Instead of buying a plug, I made one out of a coat hanger. This holds two in the magazine and one in the chamber. This is a Mossberg 500. It's super accurate. Got a full choke tube or full choke barrel on it, so I can't change tubes or anything else out of it. But I think the farthest I've shot a squirrel is with actually the guy who's going to come out here with me. But it was about 80 yards. I shot a squirrel, didn't end up finding it, but I dropped it out of the tree at 80 yards. So it's accurate and it patterns really, really tight. And this vest looks really, really small. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to kind of. My uh, homemade gun sling works perfect. Paracord. So we can do that too. We can do some paracord projects, stuff like that. Um, let me lock my truck up here. Um, windshield card. While we're sitting here thinking about it. I do have it right here. Just take it. Set it up in your windshield. Truck's locked. Keys. Got them. Um, set you guys back down. Put my keys. I just put them in there so I can find a zipper in this little bandolier because then I know where they're at. It's waterproof, so if I do get wet, my uh, remote's not going to get wet and freak the truck out and set the alarm off and all that good crazy stuff. So shove those in there. Yeah. So anyway, what we're going to do is get rid of that. What we're doing here, guys, is right here, there's like a little pavilion and playground and all this. And there's a loop you can walk back up in here. Lake's right down here. This is part of the lake. I see a couple squirrels down here. So we're going to, uh, there's a little path down there. We're going to walk down there. And I still need to load my shotgun. So we're going to see if we can't get one or two. And I don't know if you guys get to see the shots or not. It's kind of quick. So if I get to a spot where I can sit down, then we'll... I'll set the camera up off so you guys can see, but I don't, I need to get a gun mount for my camera, but, but we'll figure that out later on. So I'm going to see if I can find some squirrels guys and I'll get back with you. All right, what is up, guys? I didn't do too much film. I kind of filmed a little bit out here. Um, this is a different spot at North Fork over by the archery range out here. And <clears throat> we were successful. I mean, I don't know if you want to call it. We're not empty-handed. We got one. And he is a really neat-looking squirrel. Looks like a hybrid. Um, your two big main squirrels you get out here are reds and grays. And this one... First, I thought it was a gray. Get out of here. Thought it was a gray. <clears throat> Shot him. He was on the side of a tree. Perfect. Went and picked him up, and he's got a red stripe all the way down his back. Like he's got a little bit of red mixed in with him. So, grays are smaller. The reds are your bigger ones, the size of a freaking cat. Um, saw a couple more bumps some deer today. So, it's been a pretty good day just to get out in the woods. Um, I don't know, you guys might be able to see it in the background, you might not, I'm going over the lake right now. But definitely be something we end up doing again. So I'm gonna go home, get cleaned up, get out of my boots are wet and get warmed up. And then we will, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna clean this one. I'm gonna try and skin him out, save the hide, stretch the hide out, tan it. Cause I like the way it looks, it's a really neat looking hide. And I'll show you guys that when 
we skin him out, but I will do a separate video on that to it'd be a catch, cook, clean, kill, cook, clean, I guess. We didn't catch him, we killed him. Um, but a video on how I, what I do with squirrels, stuff like that. So yeah, until next time you guys, get on out there. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'm gonna do another video this week. I'm gonna try and do a little feature kind of thing, a weekly feature on my Instagram and my Facebook, so. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video and you want to see more hunting videos, smash that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, make sure you turn on that bell. I'll see you guys out there.